a 400 volt 50 hertz slip ring type three phase induction motor is star connected and has per phase rotor resistance and standstill reactance of 0.5 and 1.5 ohm respectively so calculate resistance to be added per phase to achieve maximum torque at starting so this is the numerical on uh, to get maximum torque for slip ring induction motor now the question is what should be the value of resistance uh, that can be added in the rotor of slip ring induction motor so that we will get maximum starting torque so the condition is we should get maximum torque at starting so according to that so consider TS is starting torque and TM is maximum torque okay the condition is the starting torque should be equals to maximum torque that is the at the time when the induction motor is started at that time we should get maximum torque so that's why the condition is starting torque is equals to maximum torque that is TS is equals to TM now we have one equation that is the ratio of starting torque to the maximum torque and the ratio is 2a upon a square plus 1 so this is a standard equation so by deriving uh, the ratio of ts to tm we will get 2a upon a square plus 1 now what is a so a is standard ratio of r2 upon x2 r2 x2 now what is r2 r2 is rotor resistance per phase and x2 is rotor reactance per phase so this is these are the related with rotor so these are the parameters of rotor side r2 x2 so basically we should know so you should uh, learn this equation starting torque to maximum torque okay so this question this uh, numerical is for four marks this numerical is for four marks so when you write this equation that is ts to tm you will get one mark after that you will write what is ts what is tm and what is a okay now uh, the question is at the time of starting we should get maximum torque okay so we will write ts up equals to tm so by putting this value in this equation the main equation so we can say that ts upon tm is equals to 1 okay so hence the main equation will become 1 is equals to 2a upon a square plus 1 okay now <clears throat> by solving this equation we will get a is equals to 1 okay so this is quadratic equation okay so in the calculator you can solve this equation and you will get a is equals to 1 basically you will get two values one is positive one is negative so we will consider the positive value a is equals to 1 so you can look for the uh, video uh, how to solve quadratic equation okay so basically this equation will become uh, a square plus 1 is equals to 2a so a square minus 2a plus 1 is equals to 0 okay so this is your second order equation that is called quadratic equation and that can be solved in the calculator now uh, we know that the equation is a is equals to r2 upon x2 so this is the ratio of a now uh, we have to add some resistance in the rotor circuit so that we will get maximum torque at the time of starting okay so we will write here r2 now consider some resistance is added in the rotor circuit let us consider it is rx so the new, new equation will become a is equals to r2 plus rx divided by x2 now we know that from this a by solving this equation a is equals to 1 so we will write 1 is equals to r2 plus rx divided by x2 okay now we have the values of r2 and x2 given in the numerical so these are so basically r2 is 0 0.5 and x2 is 1.5 so at the given resistance 0 0.5 and uh, standstill reactance is 1.5 ohm so 
so rx will become rx will be 1 ohm so this is the value of extra resistance that could be added in the rotor resistance so that we will get maximum torque at the time of starting